Hello everyone. So today we are going to try to use a uh, Chat GPT to see if they can uh, write SQL code uh, forwards. So previously we collected the census data into our relational database uh, by using the census API and also Python. We also created an ER diagram and also use ER diagram to convert uh, the table structures into SQL code. Uh, so today we are going to try uh, first uh, if ChatGPT can write those SQL code uh, without using ER diagram. And uh, secondly, so once we have the data collected, whether or not they can uh, write SQL code for us that we can query the data. Uh, so now I'm using a free uh, version of uh, ChatGPT account. Uh, so let's first, let's say I want to collect Sensors data, um, and use a name table to stall state names and FFS. Use a income table to stall income as and year, and use a Population table to store population, FIPS, and year. So we want to uh, collect income and also population in different years. All right, uh, I think this is a very vague uh, prompt, and hopefully, uh, GPT is able to understand. All right, uh, so here uh, they're going to give us the uh, table names. Um, and also income table. So ID, FIPS, income, and year. Uh, I don't think we need ID columns uh, for those tables, actually. Um, OK, they also, uh, yes. OK, so they also ask, do you want to proceed with uh, SQL code? And, and also, they want us to specify the, uh, the SQL engine, like MySQL, PostgreSQL. Uh, we are using PostgreSQL. So let's see, go ahead. OK, so now they are creating those uh, tables. So I think those are the exactly uh, the SQL code that created from the, uh, from the table that uh, it described. So we have state table, uh, income table, and also population table. And they also provide the uh, explanations, and they also want to create index. So based on the year. OK. Um, so uh, I think uh, those tables uh, should work, but uh, there are some uh, uh, definitely we can improve. So for example, we don't need ID uh, because in our case, we use FIPS as a primary key. Um, and also uh, for the state table. And also for the income table and the population table, uh, similarly, we don't need ID. So uh, what we did is was we used FIPS together with year as a primary table. And also, uh, it also does not create the, the form case, but they just added those two indexes. Uh, so I think we also need to add a form case to, to maintain the data and consistency. OK, um, let's see. Let's see, add a form case. Let's see, add form case. See if they can change that with FMPS also column. Okay, so they also gave us the updated uh, create income. And of the population table. Okay. Um, now they also provided the explanation. So why they add, uh, how to add those uh, 
the foreign keys and also what will happen. So to ensure that FIPS in the income table must exist in the state table. Yeah, that is exactly the, the reason that we want those, the foreign keys. Uh, let's also see, uh, you remove the ID uh, key from all tables and use Arthur uh, fields as the primary keys. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's what exactly we want. So uh, so here, uh, we're, they are using the FIPS as a primary key for the state table. And now they're using the, uh, the FIPS and the year as a primary key for the income table. And also use uh, uh, FIPS and year as a primary key on the population table. So that, that is exactly what we want. Uh, so eventually, uh, ChatGPT is able to create the uh, the the table structures that we want in SQL codes, uh, but we need to provide uh, more detailed um, guidelines. All right. So now we are going to uh, try to query our tables. So we already have three tables uh, from our previous uh, tutorials. So Let's say we have income table where we have the um, uh, FIPS uh, income and of the year. We also have the population table on the name table. We, we called it the name table. So the FIPS and also name table and also name. Uh, and finally, we have the, the population table. So here we have the FIPS population and also year. So uh, say we want to let uh, ChatGPT know that the table structures. So uh, we could use um, we could continue this uh, chat uh, since uh, it's the same uh, table structures. However, the the column names are slightly different. So let's try to pass our uh, table structure to ChatGPT. So without uploading the data. So I just realized that actually we can create a EI diagram in page admin. So if you right click the table and also click the ER default table, and page admin will generate this ER diagram. So uh, based on the tables. So for example, the, the, the name table, it has FIPS, it tells the data type, um, name. Uh, we have the income table, it tells the data type and also which fields are the primary keys. The population table, uh, which fields are the are the primary key, uh, and also the relationships, so one to many relationship, one to many relationship. Okay, so let's save this ER diagram. So we click this save uh, download image, so that will be downloaded to our uh, local computer, and then let's upload this one to the Chat GPT. So we can click this attach file. Um, where I'm using a free account, so I think we have a limitation at how many images we can upload each day using a free account. Uh, so here I go to my downloads folder and up upload this image, and I tell GPT that those are the ER diagram. So here are three tables from an ER diagram. Okay, let's see if ChatGPT is able to understand. Uh, okay, I can see upload it. Okay, and now they're understanding the, uh, the table names uh, and also the, the fields like FIPS name. Uh, they also know that the name is uh, the, actually the state name. They also have the uh, understand the income field in the income table and also the, which are the primary keys. Uh, they also understand the right relationship. Okay. Uh, and now they are even asking, so would you like to help with SQL queries? Yes. So uh, let's try a simple one. So which state has the 
highest income in most years. Okay, uh, let's see if they are going to do that. Uh, we can do this one. Identify the most recent years and I'll select statement with that uh, highest income year, okay? And now they provide the SQL code. Uh, so first, they're trying to find out the most recent year, uh, uh, which makes sense. And then they are trying to find our state with the highest income in the most recent year. So uh, we can say they actually joined the state uh, name table with the income table. And then they use uh, order, so order by income, and also lim uh, limit by once. So it will retain the state that had highest uh, income in the most recent years. Okay, so let's just copy this code. And I'm going to try to execute this code in my uh, pitch admin and see if we have the right result. Uh, so I'm going to open a new uh, query window and I'm going to paste. Uh, looks like they also typed the right uh, table names. So I'm going to execute. All right. Uh, we do have an error. So And I think the error is because uh, as I think we don't have the state name field, so we called it uh, uh, the name field, and 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 also we call the 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 state name table as name. We didn't call it the state. Yeah, that's why that this relationship does not uh, exist. Okay, so uh, let's see, uh, we can modify this one. Let's say use, use the table names and field names from the uploaded EI diagram. Okay, and let's see if they can Revise the the FFS or uh, the, the SQL code. Okay, so now they are providing the revised SQL code. So now it's from income table and which was right, and also now they are using the state table. Okay, uh, the name table. That's uh, that is the right uh, table name. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to or rerun this uh, code, and now we get uh, the right result. Okay, so we see the DC is uh, has the uh, highest uh, median household income, and our data collected up to two thousand nineteen. Okay, so so now we get the right result, and we just need to uh, reinforce uh, ChatGPT that use uh, the the state uh, the table names and also the field names in the ER diagram that we uploaded. Okay, uh, so next we're going to try uh, a little bit complicated query. So, um, so we want to do a new calculation. So, uh, and the calculation is that, so we want to calculate the, uh, the population growth in Virginia and see whether or not uh, uh, ChatGPT is able to do that. So uh, the prompt is that Calculate the year-over-year -year population growth rate for the Virginia state. Uh, we also use abbreviation name for Virginia, so VA, in the recent five years. All right, so now uh, they're going to calculate year-over-year -year growth. So they are going to identify the Virginia FIPS code and the fetch population data for the most five years. Uh, and also calculate the growth rate. They even give a formula where um, uh, the calculation is defined like publishing in the previous year minus publishing or publishing in the current year and minus publishing in the previous year and then divided by the publishing in the previous year times uh, 100. And here are the code. So the fetch FIPS code. So, so now they get the FIPS code 
and then get uh, the population for the most five years from Virginia. So, uh, so now they're going to use uh, order by to so sort by the year and also most five years, and then they are going to calculate uh, the population rate. Okay, and uh, finally they can select the rate ordered by the year. Okay, and next they are also provide an explanation. Okay. Um, let's also uh, repeat our previous prompt. So just remind remind uh, GPT that use a table name and also field names uh, from the uploaded diagram uh, because I remember that in our population table we use POP instead of using population. So, so let's just remind GPT that use a table name and field name. Okay, so here, yeah, we are using POP stand for population. So now they are going to uh, revise uh, the code again. So from the table, from the name table, and then from the population table. Okay, and now let's uh, just copy this code and also. Um, Say if they all it work or not. Okay. All right. Uh, surprisingly, uh, it worked. <laughs> so we can see that uh, they also return the population of that year and also the growth rate. Okay, and uh, of that year, and okay. Uh, so if we want. Uh, to check whether or not the calculation is right. Uh, we may also ask uh, GPT to show the, the population of the previous year as well. So uh, let's see, show the in the I cannot type as yes. well. Okay, so that uh, we want to show the, the population in the current year, the population in the previous year, and also the growth rate. Uh, the reason we want to do that is that uh, because, to be honest, and this SQL code is, is fairly complicated. Uh, so I think the, the best way to check if that, that works uh, is that we show the uh, results in a way that we are able to manually calculate the accuracy or we are manually we are able to manually check the accuracy. Okay, uh, so they are still thinking mm, to show the, uh, to calculate the population growth rate and not show us the population in the current year and also in the previous year, so that we are able to uh, manually double check the accuracy. Uh, all right, it looks like I reached the, uh, the, the limit of the message, so I'm going to try use uh, uh, different model and let's see if we can regenerate the result. Okay, so this one is definitely faster. All right, um, I'm not, let's, let's just copy it and also Clear all the uh, the previous code and also just run the rerun the code. Okay, uh, so now we are using a, a cheaper model because I reached the, the limitation of using the the expensive one. Uh, however, since our uh, job is fairly easy, so uh, they still give us uh, the output that we want. So they give for example the population in the current year and another population in the in the previous year. And if you recall, the formula is that the, the current year minus the previous year divided by the previous year, and then we have the growth rate. Okay, so now we are going to manually uh, double check the result. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just select those uh, data, and also I'm going to copy those data, and now we're going to use our Excel uh, and now we're going to do a, a calculation. So let's say is with uh, population growth rate equals 
the previous year. Uh, minor uh, the current year uh, minus the previous year, and then we see that is divided by the previous year. Okay, and we have see those are the result, and looks like yes, you did. Uh, they gave us the right answers. Okay, uh, so what we can tell is that uh, so uh, ChatGPT is doing a great job. However, we still need to uh, sometimes we still needs our uh, help like to uh, provide additional prompt so that they can give us exact result we uh, we like. And also, we are still need to double check the the results. So sometimes they may give us. Uh, uh, the, the wrong answers. So uh, I think that the bottom line is that we are able to verify the results that GPT created.